Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Bellatro, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our beginner's guide, and we're on the magic deck. This is our second episode. We are on Anti-4 of 8. Let's see what we can do. So, currently we have five jokers. We have this card, this tarot card that we want to play at some point to help tilt our deck toward more flushes. Uh, probably drawing, you know, spades from hearts, something like that. And we have four bucks. Do we want to go ahead and skip for 15 bucks after the big blind? No. Remember, we are building up to the boss blind. That uh, means that we can't discard. So that is something to factor in. At some point, this Joker needs to go. Uh, but honestly, I'm happy with where we're at. We have a. This is a Joker we can scale. This has already scaled up fully. This is incentivizing us to play aces. This makes sense. This is a ridiculous holographic molt um, joker. This is the only one that I'm not thrilled on, but it does provide value for us with consumables when we buy boosters. And to buy boosters, we have to go to the shop, so skipping the blind has less value for us because of that. So let's go. Here's a gold card that we want to hold to keep our three bucks. And... I mean, we already have a spade flush in a wild way by uh, playing these as wild cards. I'm even going to keep this back. We could use this right now, actually, to convert these to spades um, if we wanted to. It's not picking up three cards if we do it. Uh, but... Um... Do I want to use it right now or try to get max value? I'll be greedy and try to get max value. So we're going to go like that and play a flush. It's level three. It tells you right here. It gives us an indication. Now remember, we're aces. We're going to get a bonus for this. And we're boosting up if we go to run info. We've played eight flushes. So this is adding eight. And then it's going to add nine. We don't have any x malt jokers that's really what we're looking for is to be able to multiply our multiplier and we crushed it and get three bucks so we'll get ourselves a nice six dollars from this one Oh, with our interest. Yeah, $7. Okay. So this Joker says plus 15 malt, um, and it's 1 in 4 chance that it gets destroyed. So that's nice. Uh, this says we can convert cards. This is actually really good. Uh, we definitely want this because what you can do is if you have a really strong card, wild card, or we want more aces, for example, we could use this bad boy to go to work for us. Uh, this is tarot cards, and this is planet cards. I'm going to go ahead and get the um, Celestial Pack. I hope to proc this guy. Um, and we did not, but I definitely want uh, Jupiter to keep going up with our flush. We need to lean into something. This is perfect for us. All right, so now flush is level four. We're going to keep playing flushes for Supernova. So, again, like... We're trying to scale and combo and synergize in as many different ways as possible. And we can do this by getting jokers, modifying our cards, buying packs, and just kind of rolling with what we've got. So I'm definitely going to buy that. And I don't have enough money to keep anything else. Let's go. I might buy this someday just to un get the unlock for it. But I'm not thrilled about it. All right, this is going to say choose two planet cards. Um, this is interesting. So remember how I said you have to go to the shop to get this to work? Well, sometimes, though, the skip gives you the option of getting a pack, which could trigger this. However, I'm still going to go fight because 
I want to keep um, boot building up Supernova, and I want to use these. So do we have anything that we love right here that we want to duplicate? Not really, but we can turn um, these into spades and then... Let me think about this. How many other suits do I have? Now, I, I made this mistake earlier, actually. When you're calculating how many suits you have, uh, if you're in the game and you've drawn your hand, make sure you click up here at full deck so you get a better picture. So, like, if I'm going to take hearts to be spades, um, I also would be okay taking a club to be a spade just because it's going to... Um, Spades will surpass clubs. It's not the end of the world if I wanted to do that. So I could take this queen and this queen and this nine and make them all spades. I think I'll do that. You could just skip making the club, you know, because it, it does make you less likely to make a club flush, but it makes you more likely to get spade flush, if that makes any sense. So we're going to go ahead and pick this, this, and this, and turn these into spades. Now, uh, we have a spade flush without using this, so we get the three bucks. We get the two off the board uh, to make sure that the lowest card is actually going to be a six for us. We don't want to duplicate any of these. I don't want to duplicate the gold card that much. It's okay. Actually, wait, what am I talking about? You know what? I wanted to duplicate aces because then it, it really makes us more powerful. But if I did, first of all, Whenever I see select two cards, I think you get to duplicate one. You only duplicate two, rather. You only get to duplicate one. You pick two cards. I'm sorry. I'm, I keep misspeaking on that. You only make one card with death. I could take away a diamond, though, which we're not great on. And then, um, well, we're okay on. But I could take away a diamond to make more spades to go in on spades and then get more money right now. That's a thing that we could do instead of trying to make an ace. And that would pay us dividends right away. That's not a bad idea. So we want to go left to right. So I'm going to then go like this. So I'm going to select these two. And I'm going to say convert. Oh, no, no, wait. I need it the other way. I want to convert the left card into the right card like that. So now we have, yep, these are spades. They count for us, but they also give us a bunch of cash. So we're going to play this. Boost up our flush. Get six bucks. And get an opportunity to... We want to keep these back. We don't want to play these. We don't need that many points right now. I could play an 8 for a straight. But I'm not, like, in love with that. I think I'm just going to kick back everything that's not a club. Just chill out for a second. Uh, okay. I'm going to play these kings. Um, and get rid of these. Alright, maybe we can get one of our aces to play. Nah, we didn't get it. I'd love to play another flush. So close. We've got a discard left. How many clubs do I have left? Eight. And there's 35 cards. We get two draws at it if we do this. seems tempting. Ah, we hit it. Right at the very end. Love it. So we level up our flush. You gotta get greedy sometimes in this game. Worst case scenario, I have a pair of eights, but I really want to keep this back so that I can um, get the six bucks. 
It's why I didn't mind using extra hands because I was going to get so much money. We actually get two in interest right here with that. It's so good. All right. So that's for straights. That's for straight flush. It's not bad. But I think what we do is uh, we bu yeah we buy these open. I want the tarot first, and we got a copy. This is amazing. Um, and this says uh, we could get twelve bucks, so we could just get our money back. Like they're selling money, basically we paid for, and we could get you know money back, which is it ain't bad. Right? All right. Empress. I love it. Um, this would actually let me duplicate a, a card if I want, but I didn't draw the ace. Um, multi cards are so good. Here's what I can do. Um, oh, I can't. I can only use this right now. Yeah, I got to I got to play right here. I'm going to use this. So my idea is what I'll do. Oh, okay, you don't get to use it on the cards that are shown. That tricked me. Okay, well. Open it. Look at this. We did get... We, he proc twice. He's he's doing great work for us. Um, three of a kind, straight, and four of a kind. Um, I always like three of a kind. It's easy for us to get... Just kind of a nice little backup there. Straight flush could happen. Yeah, I'm going to buy it and use it because I've got three out of three. I need to go fight. I'm doing it. I'm just making little backup contingencies for me. Straight flush could happen. Four of a kind, probably not. But I need a little bit of a boost in some of my other ways to win. All right, let's go. Remember, we can't discard. But... What's cool is we can use these right now to make some amazing plays. All right. So, like, for example, I'm going to make this. You see this king of diamonds right here that's wild? I'm going to make it. A bonus card? Wait, no, no. I'm gonna... Yeah. Turn this two of hearts into this king of hearts. Or king of diamonds. It's wild. And then I'm gonna make them both bonuses. So what we're gonna do is we wanna turn the left card into the right card. So we're gonna use this right now. And then we're going to use this on these two cards. So this does not overwrite their ability. Oh! Oh, it did. Oh, I thought you could... <laughs> okay, well, I've learned it on the ropes here, so I wanted them to be wild. Um, it's okay. Bonus cards are fine, but now I know. Well, this is why we leveled up what we leveled up. So we have a full house right here that we can play. And it'll be insane because we have aces. And um, full house is only level one, granted. But we're going to get rid of five cards. We're going to clean those out. And we will get all of these bonuses plus this. So it'll be okay. Um, and yes, I should make this nine of diamonds a steel card. So we can hold this back. And it gives us an extra multiplier. That's a great idea. Let me just uh, tune these out really fast. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, boy. All right. Well, like I said, 
The only way to really get better at games like this is to play and learn exactly how the interactions work. So sometimes you can get cards with multiple treatments, but I need to just really solidify which treatments count as different, which can overwrite. And I was off base right there. So you can have like holographic and you can have bonus, but you can't have bonus and wild, for example. So we already won just with that full house because of the way it shook out, which is kind of funny. And we get nine bucks. Thank you. All right, what is this? Earn a dollar for each nine at the end of the round. That's kind of nice. It makes a lot of money. We're about halfway, a little half, more than halfway through, so there's that to consider. And then this is um, Joker, Tarot, Planet, and Spectral cards may appear multiple times. Um, okay. I'll take this. All right, so uh, we can make diamonds. We can make hearts. Uh, we can make a random Joker. Two planet cards. Yeah. Give me the planets. Alright, so we got... Well, these aren't great. Full house is good, though. You saw how we just dominated with that. Pluto, it's like... Do I want to sell that? Okay, um, enhance into a steal, give money, make three hearts. Oh boy. We're trying to get rid of hearts, not make hearts. I think this time I'll take the money. You know what? This is a guide. This is for science. Let's actually see what this does. Blank redeemed. So maybe at the end, like, we will unlock something. Or if I go to run info and go to vouchers, um, does nothing? We'll find out. Um... I don't need any of this stuff. We'll just go. Adds one a voucher to the next shop. Um, no, that's okay. We're going to fight. Yep. We got money making right there. Uh, okay. Let's just go in on clubs. Whoa. All right. Or get a bunch of spades then. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, game. Don't do this to me. All right, I'll do this. I lose $3, but we get the $3 back. And we, more importantly, we play a flush to boost up Supernova. Okay. Well, I see a bunch of nines and eights. I'm going to do something funny. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to play high card. High 
high card ace. Let's see how many points we actually get for this with all the stuff that we have. Pretty sick. All right. <laughs> Full house will do. Alright, so we will collect double interest. Let's see what we got. Gains 10 chips if played hand contains a straight. Um, creates a planet card if you play two or more aids. That's fun. Um, but, no. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. Hey, it worked. Wonderful. Lovers is enhanced to a wild card. We can get it back. We can make clubs. We can make a glass card. Or uh, we can get the Fool. Okay, the Fool is great for us right here. So we can... Uh... Oh, I meant... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to use it. I thought you would draw it. All right. Well, that's that didn't work out the way I wanted. What I meant to do was try to duplicate this lover's card, but um, you you use the thing immediately. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I want to buy this? The problem is if I get two tarot cards, they are to be used immediately, so they wouldn't go up here. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I spend a lot of money. Okay. So let's see. Destroy two cards. Create two tarot cards. Convert. Increase rank. Enhance to a gold. Okay. So we're going to, first of all, um, use this one. And we're going to convert the left card into the right card. So we're going to make the three of hearts into the ace of spades. And then we're going to make two random tarot cards. Okay. I mean, what's crazy is I can just do this, use this, get 12 bucks, and then use the fool and get 12 more bucks. And then we'll be rolling in. We're capped on interest at this point. Um... We could buy one of these jokers, but we're not... It's not a big deal. Don't need it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, if we skip it, we create two common jokers. No thanks. So... I'm going to just start peeling away. Make this eight of diamonds a wild card. So now it's everything. And I'm going to kick out. Let's just try to get some spades. One, two, three, four spades right there. Or we have actually one, two, three. Well, Okay. This is pretty insane. But I'm going to discard it. Okay, we didn't get what I wanted. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just build up a flush. Get three bucks right there. Okay, and you know, very close to a straight flush over here. I 
I think I might, um, I only have three hands left. I might have to stop getting cute and actually play some good stuff. I think I'll do this just to keep boosting flush. I know I lose the $3 at this point, but I have a good amount of money. And I'm really, really just trying to intensify that. There we go. Yay. Uh, we have four spades, so I'm going to discard everything that's not a spade. No. We're going to do it like this. That leaves the six behind for the multiplier. It really doesn't matter because we have aces and we have, like, you know, this insane ace of spades. But, you know. But if you're looking at us compared to where we were last game, we are not running over the competition. Like, we're winning, but this is not as powerful as it, as our combo was last time. Um, each played hand with a 10 or 4 and 50 chips if you have a pair. Yeah. Alright, hit me. Great. He gave us the Fool, which we can make something into a wild card. And we get Full House Flush. This is what we need. We really have to just start boosting up what we're trying to do even more. Okay, and then go here, open it. And we got diamonds, money, and we can duplicate. Okay, so I'm going to change the three of diamonds into the ace of spades here. Perfect. Okay, let's go. What you got for us? Uh, lose one dollar per card played. Ouch. Well, not much we can do about that. Hitting us in the pocketbook. Okay. We have a flush right away, and I'm going to use it. Five bucks. Crushed. I'm not using this on any of my clubs. But I will use... Uh, I'll make another Ace of Spades. Love it. Alright, I use it first. And then we're going to um, use this. This this will win us the match, so we lose ten bucks, which kind of stinks, but whatever. So what we're kind of looking for is more. Plus one hand size is okay. Diamonds give plus four multiplier. That's actually good, but we're not going for that. Rerolls cost less. Uh, nah. Open. We're going to open the packs before we try to supplant that booster. because Or that joker. Because look, he just helped us out. Um, Alright, we're going to just try to hit the Neptune. Because that would just help win us everything. If we can hit something as high as a straight flush. Then... Open this. Oh, and he went twice. Wild. Okay. Uh, two tarot cards. Doubles money. And duplicate. I want to duplicate this. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, select these two. I'm going to turn the four clubs into this awesome ace of spades.
Look at that. You know how many Ace of Spades I have? It's pretty good. That's how many. I'm going to re-roll this. Uh, well, this level's up flush. That's great. Hit me. Buy and use. All right. That'll help. Uh, okay. Next round. Next base edition shop Joker becomes holographic. Ooh, that's so tempting. I'm going to actually take it. First hand is drawn face down, plus three hand size. Plus three hand size would almost ensure that we win against this, but I think we win anyway, so I'm just going to fight. Okay. Terrific. Um... So what I'm going to do is change some cards into clubs. Because how many diamonds do I have in the deck when it's full? I have 14 and I have 13 clubs. Um, so I'm going to take the two hearts. I think I'm just going to take the two hearts. And make them clubs. And so this gives us one, two, three, four clubs currently. Um... I'm not going to... I'm going to play two aces and get rid of this nine and this seven just to get the money. And one, two, three, four clubs. Okay. I'm really hoping to... Get some more clubs. Get out of here. There you go. And do I want to convert a card to a steel card? Sure. So uh, we'll convert this three of clubs into a steel. Oh, we got a new joker for that. Here comes a flush. Surprise, surprise. All right, and uh, we almost have a spade flush. I'm going to kick out these. Hmm. Okay, it's getting ugly, so I'm going to kick out all of these, even though there's steel cards in there. I need to get a spade. Okay, that'll do. Tell you what, though, it's getting close. It's time to get a better Joker. Cash out for 10. All right, what Jokers you got? Oh, there he is. Um, okay, so this gives you 10 multiplier, and odd rank cards give you 30 chips. This is very good. Um, so we're going to buy these first and then buy this. We're looking for spades, aces, all that stuff. Ace of spades is even better. This is such a cool card, but it it has reverse synergy with a flush because we can't play it. This is actually better for a flush than this, but this guy gives us multiplier because it's an ace. So we'll buy that. Okay, we got one last guy from this. Thank you. Um, a steel red seal. Steel is good. Club is not... Oh, no, yeah, I'm actually okay with club. That's fine. And then uh, we're going to sell this guy. 
and buy this. And this is adding. So we want to put this over here. These are all ads, unfortunately. All right, face down. So whenever you get you face down, you sort it by suit, rank, suit. Okay, I think it does spades on the other side, but it, it really doesn't matter. Like we're just gonna <laughs> discard as many cards as we can. Okay, suit. So these must be spades if, you know what I mean? If there's spades on each side. So then what we're going to do is go... Uh, I hate to turn this into a gold card because it kills our multiplier, but we're going to do this. Um, we're gonna kill at this point we're killing everything I mean I'm holding holding these because they're eights with this eight and they're gold but I'll discard this okay so we don't have a flush but we have a full house um, turn that four diamonds into a gold card to kind of help shield the blow of the fact that I'm playing a gold card right there. All right, almost there. Oh, and we got this. This is great for just getting us money. Um, we have a straight... Uh, we have three hearts. I'm actually going to just get rid of all this stuff. Play this as a high card. Uh, I'm playing this too. I don't care about the $3. I get $3 from this. I have um, one hand left. All right. Cashing out. And this, well, too late for this guy. Um, Retrigger the first card used in scoring. That's kind of interesting. More tarot cards, tarot and celestial. We're basically trying to buy anything that we can at this point to get an edge. Four of a kind, straight flush, straight. Four of a kind is um, actually useful to us because of how many ace of spades that we have like we could get that happening so i'm going to go in for that and then tarot card sure uh let's see clubs lucky card enhances into a steel card all right i don't want to do anything like that lucky card is actually okay though so what we're going to do is we're going to convert the ace of spades into a lucky card seems pretty good all right next round so we are at anti seven we got to do anti seven and then anti eight and see if we can win so our choices here are to um create two common jokers or to fight and we're going to fight two jokers isn't really good we need to see a shop with this money we are looking 
hardcore for some kind of joker that will add more multiplier to our um, overall outcome. Uh, this gets re-triggered. That's four clubs. But these are two steel cards. I think we just kick out the spades and this and... Just kind of see if we can get ourselves a club. We sure did. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. This will unfortunately do that, but we're building up our supernova. And we have a flush. I'm not concerned about keeping gold cards um, at this point. It's nice, but we have a good amount of money. We're capped on interest. I want to play as many, um, you know, flushes that I can. All right, 10 bucks. I'll take it. Okay, so, I mean, honestly, this would help us for the rest of the game. It's not bad. And again, it's this guy with diamonds. Uh, the Jumbo Buffoon, it could be really good. I'm going to buy this for sure. We get to see a bunch of Jokers. We don't have to take one. You can always skip. Uh, this right away, okay. Um, ooh, that's cool. So, this is exactly what we're looking for, which is a way to multiply. And it's foil. So we just get 50 extra chips. And if we have kings, we're multiplying. So I think that we could take something like this and then kick away the scholar, for example. Um, I'm not playing aces all the time. Granted, I won't always have a king, but the effect of this um, is so much higher. So I'm going to This is still like 12. This is 15. It's it's either one of these two because at this point if you look at the run info, I've played flush 22 times. So this is a plus 22 multiplier. Um this is plus 10. Well, this actually does work with aces. You know what though? This isn't that great. Like Odd Todd, it's okay. Like, every once in a while, you're going to get that 30 chips, but this guy's giving you 50 and a multiplier. Um, I think for now, he this might actually be my weakest. This is more conditional, but I have so many aces. Okay, I'm going to sell this. And then we're going to buy this and put it at the end. We got a new deck unlocked. We're going to buy this one. Just see what we can get. This is the same guy. Uh, this is multi... If we're playing four of a kind, yeah, right. Um, we're going to skip. And then... Uh, I'll re-roll. Three of a kind. I don't have any uncommon jokers, so this, which worked so well for us last time, isn't actually doing much. So we'll just buy and use it. And we're so close, I'm going to actually re-roll again. So weird. Like, yeah, this gives you times four. If you have, I guess, an early in the game. But, um, no thanks. Alright. So, if we skip, we get 35 bucks. That's pretty hard to argue with. Let's go. All hearts are debuffed. So, luckily, um, I kind of forgot to look at that until late. We don't have a lot of hearts. Now, it, it is worth mentioning, and this uh, really, really hurt me in my Let's Play of the game when I was learning it the first time. If you have a wild card, it 
anything that hoses a suit will hose your wild card. So that's worth mentioning. Now here's a king, which will trigger this guy. So what do we want to do? This won't count, but we can use it to play a spade flush. So I'm going to kick out everything like this. And we ended up... Huh. Not with what I expected at all. I guess here's four clubs here, five clubs. I could play it that way. But we lose this. And we would lose this. I'm actually just going to play three of a kind. So it is worth mentioning as you observe the sequencing that it, things go left to right and they go to your cards and then they go to your hand and then they go to the jokers. So you kind of want, you wish the steel card would go last after all of the jokers have added and, and done everything, but it doesn't really work that way. Um, now we have two kings and we have a steel card. So we have a huge multiplier and we play this for an ace flush like this. Two aces also for this. This won't count for anything, but this should give us a ton. Oh, the red seal actually makes it re-trigger its steel effect, which is insane. I didn't realize that. That's so good. Um, okay. Okay, we need to kick out some cards. It's getting scary, actually. All right. I don't love what we've got. Like, at all. Do I want to just... Uh, whew. Ooh, I don't know if we can actually win. We might be losing right here. Yeah, we have 14 spades. This is a de facto three times multiplier. I think we have to hit a spade so badly that... Um, and I don't want to use a hand just to get rid of these kings. I'm going to actually do this. <laughs> what are the chances that we don't get a spade with three cards out? Or, okay, interesting. All right, well, we have to discard all these. Oh, we have no discards left. Touche. All right, so then we have to play eight... And just get rid of these. This looks really bad for us. We didn't draw a spade again. I mean, I guess not, but there's 14 in there. Okay, so we have no discards. We have no flush. It did not go well. We can play two aces. And two sevens. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. We just kind of whiffed there. We're playing the six just to boost the multiplier up. Um, it, it's actually going to be stuck at four. There's nothing we could do about it. So 
So, um, ouch, the Joker is taunting us. I'll tell you what, you know, uh, I, there's a lot that happens right now. You second guess yourself. You feel terrible. But this is the reality. This is our second run with this um, profile. And we didn't get the kind of multiplier joker that we were really looking for. We got a bunch of additive jokers. Okay. But not enough to scale up by the end. And you see, we basically just whiffed on our flush. Like, we were going for it. Uh, we just couldn't draw a spade. And I probably should have... I was holding on to the kings because they gave me the multiplier. But maybe I should have dumped them to try to get the flush guaranteed. Uh, or maybe we just got unlucky. You know, you could say either way. Uh, but there's a lot to learn from there. And you kind of take a loss and you say, okay, well, we lost. But the cool thing is we go to the main menu and we could click. We're going to unlock a bunch of stuff. So we enhanced 16 cards. We got a new Joker. Um, and this is a times an X malt Joker, which we want. And then um, we beat a guy with the high card. So we get this thing. We got the black deck, which gives you an extra Joker, which I love. And... If we go to our collection, we could see all of the stuff. We've got 15 out of 150 jokers, you know, three vouchers um, unlocked. I still don't know what that blank voucher did for us. You know, we did it, but um, maybe it was just part of, you know, getting, making progress here. We've almost played all of the tarot cards. Um, we haven't, there's one we haven't gotten yet. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to be like, okay, I see what works. I see what didn't work. There is some RNG, but honestly, if you look back over that run, if I would have made better choices, I think I would have won. I think that um, some of that was RNG, but I think it was mostly me. And it's just about learning and evolving. So I think what we'll do in the next episode is we will uh, try a different deck. So we've got the black deck, the green deck, the yellow deck, the blue deck, all to uh, think about that we haven't... Um, one yet with and we'll try to work our way through that everyone i hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun i want to say thank you so much for watching and i'll check you guys in the next episode take care